All right, good morning. Welcome back to the auction 757.com YouTube channel. We have another one here for you today. This is going to be the city of Norfolk towing and recovery auction preview. We have about uh, 49 vehicles, I do believe. We're gonna, we're gonna do is walk through each one, give you a quick preview, uh, quick preview, walk around, and hopefully this will help you on your bidding. Um, of course, everything here is gonna be sold as is, where is, no warranty. Uh, we don't know everything about these vehicles. We heavily encourage that you actually come to the in-person preview for this auction, which will be on April the 9th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, you can bring a mechanic with you. Of course, there are there is no working on the vehicles. Uh, do not take anything out of the vehicles. Of course, uh, if you do that, you will be escorted off the premises. Uh, but you are more than welcome to fully inspect, uh, you know, with your eyes and walking around the vehicle, open up the vehicle, go inside, that sort of thing. Um, also, with that, we heavily encourage that you do a Carfax on these vehicles. Uh, that way you can get a, a full detail, uh, you know, in terms of the VIN number. Um, but like I said, everything will be sold as is, where is, as you see it. Uh, a lot of these vehicles uh, have been wrecked or have uh, mechanical issues. Possibly some will be stolen. Uh, we will try to disclose that uh, as we go through each one. But like I said, we cannot catch everything. Don't know everything. This is the first time I'm seeing these vehicles, uh, probably just like you are. So um, with that being said... Everything is located at the City of Norfolk Towing Lot, which is 1188A Lance Road in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, this auction is scheduled to end on April the 11th at 10.30 a.m. on our website, auction757.com. That's A-U-C-T-I-O-N 757.com. Full terms and conditions are spelled out on the website, um, including your uh, preview times um, as well as your pickup times uh, pickup will be by appointment only on april the 11th from 2 to 9 that's 2 p.m to 9 p.m following the uh, closure of the auction uh, as well as the 12th from 8 30 a.m to 8 p.m so if you cannot pick up during that scheduled time do not bid like i said no work is to be done on the uh, site here um, <clears throat> you must tow it uh, out uh, of the premise and if you plan on doing any work on it or anything like that uh, we suggest you go ahead and get it titled in your name um, the DMV here at Poplar Hall is most familiar uh, with the process so we would also suggest that you go through them to do your titling paperwork um, like I said heavily encourage the preview uh, would also suggest you do your Carfax on it um, and yeah, that uh, payment is due in full by 3 p.m. on the day of the auction, which is the 11th. There are some of these vehicles out here that do have key fees. Uh, we'll try to note that on, uh, on whatever one we get to, um, as well as the year, VIN, mileage, whatever I, uh, information I do have. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, if I have missed anything, um, if there's an auction specific related question give us a call 757-512-8833 uh, but uh, in terms of the uh, city of norfolk uh, you can go ahead and call if it's a uh, question of in terms of the city of norfolk towing um, you would give the uh, towing here a call. Uh, but if it's an auction-related question, like I said, 757-512-8833. Website is auction, A-U-C-T-I-O-N, 757.com. All right, that's long enough of a spiel, so let's get it started. Lot number one, we have a 2002 Dodge Intrepid. This one here has approximately 145,000 miles. I have no key for this one. Four-door, looks like maroon color. SE trim all right moving right along we have the Honda this is a 2000 lot number two 2008 Honda Civic no key on this one you can see some front-end damage four-door
Next up, lot number three is the 2010 Ford Fusion. No key. This is not a used car lot. So, uh, you know, like I said, we don't guarantee anything. A lot of these don't have uh, keys. Some of them, uh, I would pretty much generally say most, if not all of them, will need some sort of mechanical work done to them. So please do your research bid accordingly as is. Uh, this is running the Flex Fuel SEL trim on the uh, Fusion. Next up is lot number four, which is going to be a Volkswagen, a 2009 Volkswagen Passat. Some uh, damage uh, to the body there. No, uh, no key on this one. Looks like your airbag has been uh, deployed. Lot number five is going to be a 2004 Dodge Grand Caravan. This one has approximately 240,000 miles. You can see it's sitting on the uh, donut with the rotor there. Oh, uh, and by the way, it was uh, this Passat. Um, I do believe this one was a stolen recovery. Uh, just so you know, the Volkswagen lot number four was a stolen recovery. Anyways, moving back on, we have the uh, Dodge Caravan lot number five. Like I said, no key. Window busted out here. Lot number six, I've got a 2008 Nissan Altima. This one here, no key. See some uh, front end damage. Damage, a little bit of damage on the rear. Up next is going to be lot number seven, a 1999 Toyota Tacoma. I would say it's all reliable, but you see it uh, definitely has some front end damage there. Extended cab, SR5. Six foot bed. Flat tires. Airbag's been uh, deployed. All right. I'd say that was probably a head bump there. All right, lot number eight is going to be a 2004 Chrysler Pacifica. This one has approximately 131,000 miles. Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I meant uh, lot number eight. Uh, so this is not a Chrysler Pacifica. That's up next. Lot number eight is a 2005 Honda Civic. Uh, this one, I don't have the keys or the mileage on this one. Uh, same with that uh, Toyota. No keys or mileage that I could get. Uh, you see some side damage here. LX trim on the Civic. All right, now we have lot number nine, the 2004 Chrysler Pacifica. This one, I... You just heard it start up. I do have the keys. It's running a 3.5 liter engine, 24 valve. That's forward. And that's backwards. This one here has approximately. Approximately 131,000 miles on the Pacifica. Let's do your quick walk around. Show you the inside uh, from this side. 
Get yourself a free pair of Nikes there. Let's do a quick shot in the back. You got third row seating. And let's just walk over here just quickly on the uh, driver's side. All right, up next, I'm gonna have lot number 10, which is a 2012 Nissan Rogue. <clears throat> this one here has approximately 217,000 miles. She as you, gas. She is out of gas. Uh, as you can see, it does have some front end damage. All right, so we do have the key. That's what she does, like I said, out of gas. So. Uh, can't do uh, <clears throat> much for you on the video as you can see like I said front end damage here do a quick shot of the uh, engine bay on this Nissan which is lot number 10 2012 Nissan Rogue has approximately 217,000 miles approximately 217,000 miles all-wheel drive special edition on the uh, trim quick shot of the inside here all right up next is going to be lot number 11 a 2010 nissan sentra this one starts without a jump uh even with that front end damage you see forward and backwards see the wheels kind of jacked up there all right so does does appear to go in uh, gear but uh, as you can see we have the damage there so you're not gonna be driving uh, too far uh, anyways that's lot number 11 2010 Nissan Sentra we do have the key We've got approximately 157,000 miles on it let's do a quick walk around Airbag has been deployed. Probably because all those Crown Royals over there on the <laughs> on the floor. That's probably what got them in this scenario here. Don't drink and drive, folks. All right, lot number 12 is going to be a 2001 Toyota Avalon. This one here, I have no key. As you can see, there is some front end damage. Let's do a quick peek on the inside. Looks like XL on your trim. All right, and that is lot number 12. Lot number 13, up next, I've got this 2008 Ford Escape. We have the key, approximately 260,000 miles. Forward and backwards. All right, that is lot number 13, 2008 Ford Escape, approximately 260,000 miles. Got a V6 engine, automatic. Like I said, uh, we do have the key for this one here. Let's do a quick shot of your inside. All right, that is the Ford Escape. All right, up next after lot 13, of course, is lot 14. We have a 2010 Kia Forte. Now, I do believe this is our first vehicle. We have a key fee on. 
Uh, this one here is a $75 key fee, which will be tacked on top of your bidder's total. And this has approximately... That's forward and backwards. That's dual overhead cam, 16 valve. That has approximately 220,000 miles. Like I said, there is a $75 key fee on this vehicle, uh, but like you saw it there, uh, does appear to go in gear and run and drive. All right, I'll get you a quick shot of the inside here. appear that you're uh, somebody probably hit it with a sledgehammer or a baseball bat or something but not as bad as this one uh, lot number 15 the 2005 Honda Civic this one here I have no key obviously you can see it has some front-end damage windshield has been busted in Let's see if I can just pull this up there for you Come around to the rear. All right, and that is your Honda Civic. All right, up next is lot number 16, a 2007 Chrysler Sebring. On this Chrysler Sebring, uh, looks like it has approximately 171,000 miles. As you can see, you have uh, some front end damage, side damage. Peak of the inside. A little shot from the rear. And that is your Chrysler Sebring. Up next is going to be lot number 17. I have a 2012 Kia Optima. Now this one here has a $100 key fee. Going forward and backwards. All right, that is your Kia Optima. Approximately 145,000 miles. Like I said, $100 key fee on this. Has the GDI uh, motor. And let's do our quick walk around. Coming down the passenger side here first. Does have the. Uh, glass out the back but that'll give us a little shot from the uh, inside GDI on the Kia and let's well I was going to say let me open the uh, door there but it's missing the handle we'll have to open it from the inside how about that shot of your interior all right, and that is lot number 17. Next up, lot 18, 2009 Mitsubishi Lancer. This one here has no key. As you can see, have some front end damage there. Let's take a peek through this open window. Mitsubishi Lancer. Next up after the Lancer, we have lot number 19. Going to be a 2010 Nissan Sentra. No key. No key unless I tell you otherwise. Like I said, these vehicles will have to be towed out of here. Full terms and conditions on the website, auction757.com.
SR trim. As you can see, it does have some side uh, damage here on the side. All right, up next is gonna be lot number 20. We have a 2008 Nissan Quest. On this Quest here, uh, no key. Do a quick shot of your inside. From the rear, it's a 3.5 liter SE trim. And that would be lot number 20, the Nissan Quest. Up next after that is gonna be lot number 21. I have a 2014 Hyundai Sonata. This one here has approximately 134,000 miles. 134,000 miles on your Sonata. Let's take a look on the inside. Actually fairly clean in here. That's refreshing to see. Pretty clean and that actually is a manual. Is that a manual? No, that's automatic. I'm sorry, that is automatic tricked me there for a second all right this one has a 2.0 liter 2.0 t not sure if that stands for turbo or not i would think so but uh cannot uh cannot make that judgment call all right there's your hyundai like i said uh, no key on the 2014 Next up is going to be lot number 22. I have a 2016 Nissan Altima. This one here, I also have no key. Let's take a look on the inside. Fairly clean as well. Looks like you got a uh, wheel in the back. And you can see this one actually has some rear view, uh, rear damage. It is an SR trim. And that one is lot 22, which was your 2016 Nissan Altima. Next up after that is going to be lot number 23, a 2008 Honda Odyssey. This one has a $125 key fee, approximately 232,000 miles. That's what she does. All right, that's what she does, folks. Uh, we have a 3.5 liter iVTEC VCM motor on this uh, Nissan Odyssey. Has, like I said, approximately uh, 232,000 miles, $125 key fee. And let's do a quick walk around. Coming down your passenger side here first. From the rear and coming along the driver's side. Taking a look on the inside. That is lot 23, the Honda Odyssey. And like I said, that one had a $125 key fee. Lot number 24 is gonna be a 2005 Dodge Magnum. This one here, no key. On this Dodge Magnum, let's take a quick peek on the inside while we're on the driver's side. Right. 
That is your Dodge Magnum. Up next, lot 25, a 2009 Dodge Charger. $85 key fee. This one reverse and forward. And reverse. There you go. All right. And that is lot 25, 2009 Dodge Charger. This transition does slip. Sometimes it doesn't move in reverse. 10 4. Uh, so, as you can see, it did go into gear there, but it does uh, sometimes, I guess, uh, have a little bit of a transmission slip. Uh, want it, so, it doesn't want to necessarily uh, go into gear. But. Um, this has a 3.5 liter V6 uh, engine on this, and we're going to do a quick walk around. This one here uh, has an $85 key fee, approximately 134,000 miles. Coming down to your passenger side, obviously it is red in color. Charger SXT, SXT on this one. mileage shot up your interior all right sunroof do see some dings on the side like I said $85 key fee uh, transmission does uh, slip at times and lot number 26 is going to be a 2001 Lexus RX 300. This one here, I have no key. We'll do a quick walk around. Shot of your interior. RX 300. All right, up next is going to be lot number 27, 2005 Acura MDX. This one here, I also have no key. I got a little bit of damage there. Take a shot through your window that is down. On the MDX. I knew I shouldn't have opened the door. I set myself up. Got your alarm going off. All right. Next up, lot number 28, 2007 Mazda CX-9. As you can see, it does have some front end damage. No key on this one. I told myself, don't open that door. You already got the shot of the inside, and sure enough, Hey, look, you get your little uh, Nickelodeon hoodie there. All right, shot of your interior on this Mazda. Does have a little bit of side damage there. This is your CX-9 2007 Noki. Flat tire. Up next is going to be lot number 29, which is a 1997 GMC Sonoma. This one here has a $75 key fee, approximately 204,000 miles, 
running a V6 Vortec engine. All right, well, that's what she does there. You heard it kind of clicking. There is a uh, brand new starter in the box on the uh, seat. Uh, of course, I can't guarantee that's what it is, but there is a likelihood that that is what it is. Uh, but like I said, we do have a $75 key fee. You heard it clicking uh, when we try to start it. And let's do your walk around. It is an SLS trim on the Sonoma. Have your extended cab. Does say 4x4. Four four. Looks like a six foot bed to me on this GMC. Flat tire in the rear. And let's give you your shot of your inside. Oh, there's your uh, starter. All right. Up next is going to be lot number 30, which is a 2007 Chevrolet Impala. This one here, I have no key. As you can see, it does have some front end damage. Bull bars pushed in. Got your little uh, spotlight. Steely's tinted window. Airbag deployed. All right, let's finish with your walk around on the Impala. <clears throat> All right, up next is going to be lot number 31. This is a 2008 Ford Explorer. I have no key on this one. XLT 4x4 on your trim. And the doors are locked, so I can't, uh, well, that's about all I can do for you there. All right, up next is going to be 32, which is a 2003 Ford Windstar. No key on this one either, on the Ford Windstar. SE trim. All right, and that is lot number 32, the Ford Windstar. You can see the flat tire there. All right, up next is going to be lot number 33, a 1969 Plymouth Fury 3. Odo is showing approximately 66,000 miles. Nice square body. They don't make them like this anymore. Windows down. <laughs> yeah. Price, there we you know. go. Got my door open. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. All right, so you can see a little bit of rust. But the car is all there from what I can see. Yeah, I knew that one wouldn't have a uh, alarm system if you opened it up. <laughs> Alright. 
That is your Fury 3 on the Plymouth. Let me just do a quick shot of this other side. All right. Next up, after the Plymouth, um, is going to be Lot 34, a 2002 Mitsubishi Montero. This one has an $85 key fee. And as you can hear, she clicks and that's what she does. So she will click, but uh, couldn't get her to start. Has approximately 132,000 miles. Like I said, $85 key fee on this Montero. It's a Mitsubishi 2002 XLS series. Let's do a shot from the side. Got your running boards, two-tone. Has the full-size spare in the rear. Let's do a shot of your interior. Your four wheel drive. All right, looks like the wheel covers in the back. All right, next up, lot number 35 is a 2010 Ford Transit. No key on the Transit. I guess the uh, window is probably broken there. Only a shot of your interior. Got a nice tall head space. Looks like maybe a jump pack down there. Well, you got the cage in the back, as well as, well as uh, some work shelves. Nice. All right, that is the transit. Yep, that definitely has a. That door's locked. I'm not gonna try to open it but let's see if we can maybe get it from the other side maybe maybe not that door's locked transit connect transit connect yep door's locked all right, well, that's what you have. You saw the back from the inside. All right, up after the transit is gonna be lot 36, a 2016 Hyundai Genesis. This is a coupe. Obviously, it has been in a wreck. Has uh, pretty substantial front end damage. You can see the uh, control arm uh, broken off there at the bottom, as well as some other things. Uh, Noki. No key. Air bag deployed. Uh, it is a manual, six speed manual. Looks like you had some uh, Brembo, uh, Brembo brakes, disc brakes. Genesis Coupe. 3.8. R spec on the coupe. Looks like you might have hit a curb with that back wheel. And got a little bit too much camber. All right, that's lot number 36. Like I said, uh, no key on that one. I do believe lot 37 was pulled. So up next is going to be lot number 38, which is a 1977 Ford F100. The odometer is showing approximately 86,000 miles. Nice uh, old square body. Flat tire up in the front. F100 Custom. Ladder rack, full length ladder rack on it. Looks like a uh, eight foot bed. No key on this one. Days later, so they owe me 30 days All right. 
Let's do a quick uh, shot from your inside. Hey, you got a brand new tire, a 32 by 11.5 tire right there. Super Swamper. All right. There you go. That is your Ford F100. All right, up next after 38 is gonna be lot 39, a 2016 Dodge Dart. This one here has a $225 key fee on the Dodge Dart. All right, that sounds good, thank you. So uh, we have it on the jump pack, everything lights up on the dash, but um, you can kind of hear the electronic sound like it's going to cycle under here, but it does not do anything past that. It doesn't uh, want to click or uh, start. You can hear the uh, fans come on for the HVAC and whatnot. Um, anyways, uh, so that's what she does. Like I said, this is a uh, 2016 Dodge Dart, $225 key fee, showing approximately 138,000 miles. You do have your uh, engine uh, cold air intake. And let's do your quick walk around on the Dodge Dart. Coming down the passenger side. Four door. This is the GT trim. GT on the Dart. And let's see if we can get a shot of your interior. Touch screen, full touch screen, automatic, looks like black leather. All right, that's your Dodge Dart. All right, oh, this is one for me here. I got a short bus. All right, we got lot number 40. A 2000 Ford E4 E yeah, I told you it was for me. E450 on the Thomas Super Duty short school bus, aka the struggle bus. I like that. I like this one. Well, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to open this door, but we can. Uh, See what you have through the window. On the Thomas. Let's do a walk around the rear. Maybe this one will open. Yep. Tires, a little makeshift bed. Yeah, you can see the uh, tops open up there. All right, no keys on that. What you see is what you get. Do a shot from the driver's side. Does have some, uh, looks like some body damage here. It is a diesel, diesel fuel only, on the struggle bus. All right. Next up, we have lot 41, a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. On this Grand Cherokee, I have no key. Thought that was a bullet hole for a second. Just a rust hole. shot of your interior party time all right lot 42 is going to be a 2008 nissan altima we are on the final stretch here 
On the 2008 Nissan Altima, I have a no key. As you can see, your uh, window is uh, busted open on the passenger side. Quick view of your interior. Two point five S. All right. Next up, lot number forty three is going to be a nineteen ninety six Lexus SC four hundred. Two door coupe, no key on the Lexus SC four hundred. A little bit, uh, a little bit rough on the inside there. As you have no windows, they've been busted out. All right, let's do a quick loop around the back. The tires are dry rotted, but it does have your sunroof. All right, up next is going to be uh, lot 44, a 2012 Kia Optima. This one obviously has been in a. Uh, Substantial fire. See, it has quite a bit of body damage. Uh, entire engine bay has been melted from the fire, as well as quite a bit of the cab. But surprisingly, the cup still, plastic cup still made it. No key on that one, folks. Up next is going to be lot 45, a 2006 BMW 330i. This one here, we also have no key on the BMW 330i. Four door. Let's do a shot. Uh, whoa. Got a uh, looks like a brand new, uh, brand new tire in the back. It is a six-speed manual. On the 330i. All right, four more for you. I've got lot 46, a 2015 Chevrolet Equinox. There you heard it. You saw it uh, going forward and backwards. That is lot uh, 46, a 2015 Chevrolet Equinox. This one does have the key and approximately 121,000 miles on it. It has an Ecotec motor. And let's do a quick walk around here. Okay. All right, here's a shot of your interior. Another shot of your interior. And this is the Chevrolet Equinox. Like I said, we do have the key on that one. Up next, I have lot number 47, which is a 2009 Chrysler Sebring. This one here, I have no key.
shot of your interior. That is lot 47, the 2009 Chrysler Sebring, no key. Has approximately uh, 172,000 miles. Um, actually, I don't, I think that's the next one. Uh, anyways, uh, we only have two left, which uh, you have lot 48, the 2011 Toyota Camry. This one does have an $85 key fee. I do believe he went to go run the, uh, to go grab the key. Uh, this one here, I believe, has 100, approximately 172,000 miles. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick walk around for you. This has the uh, dual VVTi motor. As you see, it does have uh, some body damage, a little bit of body damage here. A shot of your interior automatic transmission. le trim on the uh le trim on the camry and what i will do is uh, i'm going to continue on to our last um vehicle and then we'll try to jump back to this uh if i don't uh get the um running in this then we will either add it on at the end and or make a separate uh, little add-on video uh, in uh, in conjunction with this uh, anyways your last lot would be lot number 49 which is a 2013 ford edge this one here i have uh, oh okay so we we do have a key for this all right uh so we have a key for both of these vehicles here um so we will uh like i said we'll either just i just want to do a quick walk walk around while he is grabbing the keys uh, you do see some uh, front end damage there. Just a little bit. Shot of your engine compartment. Coming along the driver's side here. Shot of your interior. Edge SEL all wheel drive edition. All right, looks like he is uh, on his way back with the keys. So I'm just gonna, before we start these two vehicles, just wanted to reiterate that everything that we uh, just saw is sold as is, where is. Like I said, uh, we have no guarantees in terms of condition or anything like that. What you see is what you get. Uh, some of the vehicles do have key fees. You have to tow everything out of here. No working on the vehicles. Full uh, terms and conditions online. We heavily uh, suggest you come to the preview at the specific preview times, uh, as well as do your Carfax, do your research before you bid. That is the key here. Before you bid, um, we are not responsible for any uh, any misunderstandings as everything is spelled out. All right, so we're getting back to it. Lot number uh, 48. Uh, Lot 48, I have the 2011 Toyota Camry. This one has an $85 key fee. I've already given you the walk around, uh, so we're just gonna let him uh, go ahead and see what this thing does on the startup. No worries. Alright, you 
solid going gear. You heard it start up. That was lot 48, 2011 Toyota Camry. $85 key fee, approximately 172,000 miles on it. Now this next one, do we have a key fee? No. No, okay. Perfect. So lot 49, your last vehicle of the auction, the 2013 Ford Edge. We do have the key, but there is no key fee. Lucky you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing hooked up to the jump pack and see what she does for you. Sounds like she started right up. That's forward. And reverse. That is your last vehicle, the 2013 Ford Edge. Thank you for checking out the video. Hopefully this helped. As always, please smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that and hit the notification bell as well. We appreciate you checking out the video. Have a great one and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.